months ahead for Louisiana. Thanks a lot. And now to the pandemic here. Florida setting yet another record with more than 27,000 new COVID-19 cases reported in the last 24 hours. It comes as the school community mourns the loss of a beloved Miami Dade teacher and her daughter, both dying from the virus just days apart. And Governor Ron DeSantis dealt a major defeat in court today after a judge ruled that school districts can mandate masks. South Florida hospitals now making more room for patients as they prepare for more COVID deaths. And we have a lot of ground to cover tonight. Local 10's Hatzel Vela joins us live now from Port Lauderdale with the very latest Hatzel. So Calvin, let's start with those infection rates because healthcare workers here in South Florida say that is what is creating a capacity issue at hospitals across South Florida. It's really hard to see people die. One will do is we'll come down on the P bottle wine. Hospitals across South Florida are preparing for more to die from COVID-19. The patients we're getting are younger turning sicker much faster. Refrigerated trailers now in place at several hospital systems to expand more capacity. Bed capacity, also an issue. At Memorial West, non-COVID patient beds have been added to the hospital's cafeteria. At Baptist Health, you'll now find beds in the lobby of the ER. Patient intake is being done outside at these white tents. Hospital officials keep saying the vast majority of the hospitalized with COVID are not vaccinated. Before we intubate, them almost their last words are begging us for a vaccine. By that time, it's already too late. As Florida continues to break infection records, local governments try to keep up. In Miami-Dade, Tropical Park will now offer 24-hour PCR testing. Meanwhile, in the fight over masks in schools, a big defeat for Governor Ron DeSantis. A school district adopting a policy such as a mask mandate is acting within its discretion. A judge ruled the governor overstepped his authority by issuing an executive order forbidding school districts from issuing mask mandates. School leaders in Broward and Miami-Dade both defied the order, despite threats from the education commissioner to cut their pay. We honestly believe that what we have done is not against the law. Judge Cooper affirmed the legality of the protocols adopted by our school system just last week. DeSantis says he wasn't surprised by the ruling, adding the judge ruled against the parents' rights. He says the ruling was made with incoherent justifications, not based in science and facts. Frankly, not even remotely focused on the merits of the case presented. So it looks like the fight over mask mandates is not over because the state will be appealing the judge's ruling for not reporting live from Fort Lauderdale. I'm Hatsavella, Local 10 News.